Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. This is Jeffrey Kite back again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. This episode is going to be a TTM episode, and I got two other episodes coming up. Got a box break of a uh, uh, little college set that I hope I can put together and complete the whole set and have some extras and doubles for some TTM fuel. And I got a blister pack rip that we'll be doing. So lots of good stuff I was able to find at the stores and to come home with all of this, all of this beautiful TTM goodness. All right, that's a thick one right there. I think I know who it is. But we're going to see, all right? Let's dig in. Let's see what we got. Coming out of North Texas. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Let's see who we got. I think I know who this is, too. Let's see. More some of my fingers up here. Let's see. Yes, yes, Mr. Bob Lilly, Hall of Fame defensive tackle for the Dallas Cowboys. Got two of two on this. Look at that right there. That's just beautiful right there. It's an NFC Championship game. That's the game that they won the NFC Championship back-to-back -back seasons. But this one, they defeated the 49ers to go to the Super Bowl and defeat the Miami Dolphins. Look at Bob Lilly right there. Just manhandling that San Francisco 49ers running back right there. It was a this game was a just showing out, coming out party for the Dallas defense. I mean, they they really did a good job. I want to say San Francisco's quarterback, John Brody, was MVP that season in 1971. I mean, look at that. They just I mean, they held San Francisco to just Almost just nothing. Only, only 53 yards, or let's see, 58 plus 361 yards rushing the whole game. They limited their passing to, let's see, that's pass receiving, passing. Anyway, just look at those stats. Just Dallas uh, really just. Just dominated this game in defense. So I like that card. Look at that. Like it. I like that right there. Of course, Bob Lilly, Hall of Fame defensive tackle, all decades team in the cities he, of the seventies. He's been featured on a bunch of bunch of videos. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with too much information on Mr. Bob Lilly. We're just gonna enjoy him. All right, this one. This is coming out of. All right, look, it says Atlanta, but then it says Boise, Idaho. I don't know. I've never received anything that's been double canceled like this. I don't, I don't know. Let's open this up. Mm, okay. My hands are so dirty. I've been erasing them dry erase boards. We had a good week at school, though. Let's see. Oh, y'all see the name, Mr. Gail Goodrich. Did I get him? Yes. Oh, my God. That is beautiful, Mr. Gail Goodrich. Now, I will say this. I sent this card in much, much better shape. <laughs> much better shape than what I got back, but... You know what? It's all good because I got that right there. Beautiful signature from Mr. Gail Goodrich. Gail Goodrich, again, he's another one that's been featured on many, many YouTube videos of TTM, uh, autograph collectors. Uh, Goodrich, um, you know, 
what can I say about him? Just a wonderful, wonderful player. Played for the Lakers. Got got them some uh, championships. Scored 53 points in a game for the Lakers once. I mean, just phenomenal player. Great, great all-around athlete. Um, I just, I just love that. That is just awesome right there, Gail. Mr. Gail Goodrich. Let's slide old Bob over. We can't feature everybody. Uh, Y'all see my, my NASCAR stack that I'm going to be roughing up with the eraser. <laughs> Getting them out in the mail. Let's see. Who else we got? All right, here's the thick one. That's the thick one right there. Coming out of Fort Myers, Florida. Let's see. This one came back damaged all the crap in the back. I think my mailman goes through my mail. Oh, yeah, Mr. Steve Grogan. Now, let me, before I reveal this, let me just give a disclaimer. I never, never, Send more than three cards at the most to a guy, TTM. I think I've done maybe some fours once on like some Braves players that I know personally and have met and talked to. And, you know, when they see my name, they're like, okay, that's, that's Jeff. He's going to be. He's going to be putting these in his collection. We'll go ahead and sign them. But never do I send more than three of people I don't know. Um, Steve Grogan, I sent him eight cards. And the reason why I sent eight is it looks like he just churns them out. People offer doubles for him to keep. He signs them anyway, sends them on back. So I felt, I felt okay with sending eight cards to Mr. Steve Grogan. Let's see what we got. I hope he didn't think I was a little greedy greedster, but let's see. We got one at least. This is an 89 tops traded. Yep, 89 tops traded. I sent him two because one of these is going to be in my collection and the other one is going to be in the student auction uh, at church to raise money for mission trips. So I'm going to set that aside. All right, three now. This is an 88. Yeah, 88 tops. Like that right there. His rush for 34 career touchdowns. He at one time was the all time leading uh, rushing touchdown maker for quarterbacks in the NFL history. And he was the first quarterback in NFL history to rush for 12 touchdowns in a season. I mean, he was he was a phenomenal rushing quarterback. He was probably the first, like dual threat quarterback that you could talk about he could run and throw a phenomenal athlete just great guy so he signed that 88 tops three of three okay four four i'm feeling pretty good feeling good all right yes that looks awesome this is the card um of their super bowl year in I say that, I know they went, it was the 85 season, but this is the 86 tops that has all their Super Bowl cards in it. So that's got that, their, their team card lists AFC champion on it from this year. Very nice to have this back. Very nice. Oh, look at that. So far, we're good. Let's see, this makes, yeah, six. Six cards right here, 80, 83, nice, 1980 tops, gorgeous, this is the first card I ever got of him, beautiful, do we make it eight for eight, yes, awesome, awesome returns for Mr. Steve Grogan. Mr. Grogan, thank you so, so very much. Let's, I got to get you some airtime, man, right there. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Grogan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, all those are going in my personal collection. I have no desire to sell. I may use some of the extras in there for some blind trades if some of you guys are looking to add Steve Grogan to your collection. Um, I will say this. These two right here, these are mine, all right? <laughs> Y'all can't have these. Y'all can't have these. This was the first Steve Grogan card I have owned. And this card right here I picked up at um, at my last show that I went to. And uh, it's just a good old vintage card of Steve Grogan. So I think it's his fourth, fifth year card. Very nice. Just so happy to have it. All the rest of them, they up for grabs except for the 89. One of the 89 tops. And one of the 88 tops that I'm going to put in the, the mission trip auction. But all the rest of them are, you know, so. But anyway, I don't even know if that made sense, but whatever. Here we go. Let's open up our last one. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, this is kind of, I got some, some writing on this. I have sent some index cards out to some guys who are in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and College Football Hall of Fame. So I'm hoping to try to build my college football hall of fame wall uh with some collages of the index cards that i hopefully will get back i have not gotten back any <laughs> any of the index cards so uh, hopefully they'll be coming in the next coming weeks but out of milwaukee wisconsin let's see make sure yeah. pack it down there okay all right Bakken to Jeffrey, thank you for your kind note. I hope you get a kick <laughs> out of this picture. Sincerely, Jim Bakken. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That, that is nice. A little four by six. Uh, yeah, about a four by six picture. Of Mr. Jim Bakken, NFL All Decades team, 60s and 70s. A beautiful picture, you know, straight on kicker. Got a nice autograph there. Four times in the Pro Bowl. Let me tell you about Jim Bakken. He, um, he was either the first or second kicker in NFL history to kick seven field goals in a game, and at one time he was the NFL. Um, all-time record holder for field goals in a season. Tremendous, tremendous kicker. Very valuable weapon for the Cardinals back in the day. Let's see if he signed the card. This is one of my show pickups. All right, let's see. Look, that is gorgeous. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Jim Bakken, he was a dual threat. Talking about dual threat guys like Steve Grogan here. He was a dual threat when he was in college. He was a quarterback and a kicker and a punter. In uh, college, he went, who, did he go to Wisconsin? He was Wisconsin, wasn't he? Yeah, he was Wisconsin. And um, led, the, led the Big Ten in punting. A um, couple years. He kicked a, I want to say it was a 92, 92, 93, 94 yard punt in college against Northwestern in 61, I think it was. Here did he get drafted? I can't remember. But anyway, I, I, I did read about that. Can you imagine? 92 yard punt. Incredible. Incredible, incredible athlete. And like I said, not a bad quarterback. So, 
All right, folks, there's my TTM returns. Tell me what you think. Did I do good? I think I did. Two Hall of Famers, two record setters. Him, the Russian, rushing uh, touchdown record for quarterbacks. He was the rushing yardage uh, leader, record holder for quarterbacks. And then you got Jim Bakken here. Uh, most field goals in a game and most field goals in a season at one time. So as always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care now. Have a good one. Bye.